Y'all already know. What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. It's football Sunday. I'm back again with my Ninja 6.5 quart pressure cooker slash air fryer Ninja Foodie. Today, I'm gonna make me some wings from Frozen. Just came from Sam's Club, y'all. I got this 10 pound bag of wings. Of course, I'm not gonna make them all now, but this should last me for at least a month or two. And we're gonna make some wings in the, in the um in the foodie. Also got this from um, Sam's as well, so we're gonna try this out. By the way, we're gonna have some rack action today. Of course, we're gonna finish them off with some sweet baby rays. All right, these are 10 wings right here. And once I put them in the, um, in the inner pot, I'm gonna find a way to jam in two more to make it 12. <laughs> now, like I said, these are frozen. So I can put some water in the inner pot, you know, one cup of water and throw these in there just as it is right now. And, um, you know, coat them when they're finished. But that's not how I roll. I'm going to coat these frozen wings with this red hot Frank's red hot seasoning blend. I tried the liquid form, but I always wanted to try you know, the seasoning. It's pretty good. The liquid one anyway, so I wanted to check this out. And like I said, this part's optional. You don't have to do this. You could do it after it's done in the pressure cooker, but yeah, I just know how I do. Just keep mixing until it looks like this. Add some more if you need until it looks like this. Shout out to everyone with the silicone spurtles. I'm also going to throw some black pepper on there just for to make it look sexy. Mix that around too. Like I said, th these two steps I just did is totally optional. You don't have to do this, but... Right, I'm going to put one cup of water in here. You know I got to add the liquid smoke. One, two, three. Should be good. Go ahead and put my rack in. And I'm going to put my chicken in. Alright guys, I got all 12 in there. I actually could have probably crammed two more in there. <clears throat> and these um, wings are actually a little bigger than your average size that you get from your supermarket too. So who knows how much you can really fit in there, just regular average size. All right, I'm going to put my pressure cooker lid on. And all I hit is pressure. It's on high. I'm going to go to time. I want to do 20. And then I hit start. By the way, make sure you're in the seal position. Now, I'm going to vacuum seal these. There's, these are 12 in a bag. And when I vacuum seal, I'm going to put them in my free, uh, freezer since I know 12 fit in there just fine. Now, if you have the time, I would pre-season the, I would season these frozen and then vacuum seal them. So this way, when you, when you're ready to use them, whether it be in the air fryer or the pressure cooker, because you can make them separately in both or use the combination, um, like I'm using today, either way, but they'll be already seasoned and you could just throw them in. It's coming to pressure. All right, 
I'll be back in 20 minutes. Bag is empty, y'all. And I'm going to store these away in my deep freezer. 12 each. Or a little more. Let's go ahead and release the pressure. So these handles, well, they're not hot. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to dump, well not dump, but dispose of this water, <coughs> or oil should I say. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to put a layer of some baby rays on it and mix it all together. And we are going to crisp it up. good enough all right well look how they shrunk we could even put even more I probably could have fit 15 on here <laughs> not bad air fryer time close the lid set the uh, hit the uh, air crisp we're going to but that's a 400. I'm going to go for 10 minutes. Should be 5 minutes aside. Should work. Set timer for 5 minutes. 5 minutes. Starting now. Look how much better we are looking. Now I ain't going to lie. I did about, I did the whole 10 minutes on this side. So I'm going to flip it over and do five minutes and see how it looks. But it's looking and smelling absolutely fantastic. Man, I just flipped them over and I almost licked my fingers off. This is going to be good. And truth be told, I mean, you don't even, I didn't even have to flip them over. I mean, we can eat them right now. I'm just going over the top because that's how I do all right but this is what I wanted to see see how that looks so I did 10 minutes on one side and flipped them and did five more minutes now like I said you didn't really even have the 10 minutes was good to go on one side but like I said I want both sides to have that crispness mm. smell good it's almost game time, y'all. Shout out to my Kitchen Gadgets group on Facebook. Y'all know how we do. All right, guys. We're approaching 1 o'clock. It's about 12.54. My Giants are about to play. Anyway, before I forget and get into this, um, follow me on Instagram. I have less than 100 followers on Instagram. And that's at Cooking with Doug. It's doing nothing for my libido that I have on only, like, 90 something so y'all hook me up man follow me on instagram but anyway let's go ahead and take a bite of this chicken now i know some of you are going to say i can do this directly in my air fryer and yes you can every day all day you could do it in your oven every day all day but the tenderness of a pressure cooked wing if you've never tried it you got to but go ahead take a bite See all that char right there? Come on now. One pot cooking. I'm going to take a bite. Mmm. It just, it just falls off the bone good. It just comes right off. Right off. And the taste, completely awesome. Oh yeah. That seasoning is pretty good. I like it. 
It's not as hot as I thought it was going to be, but it has a good blend of it. And the baby rays, you know how that is. Very good, very good. Mm 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 mm. No, let's, let's have another one real quick. We'll take this one. See all that? Remember the peppers we put on earlier? Look at them freckles. <laughs> yeah, I'll take a bite. You got it? Mmm. This falls right off. It's just so good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This comes off, bounce right, right in your mouth. Mm. I wanted to have this with some celery, but I assumed I had some in my um my refrigerator, but I didn't. So that's some leftover mac and cheese. Yeah, I'll take a bite. Fantastic. If you didn't see that video, I did some mac and cheese yesterday in this machine. It was completely awesome. So, that's just one way of making wings. I didn't have to do it from frozen. But I wanted to try the harder route to show you, again, how versatile this machine is. Um, I got a good suggestion in the comments and on my previous videos on the foodie. I am going to do ribs. I was supposed to do ribs today, but it's going to be a rainy day today, and I don't feel like doing ribs today. That's too heavy on my stomach, plus it's raining. Um, I'm going to do ribs Thursday, but I'm going to use the slow cook function and then crisp it up in the air fryer function of this machine. So shout out to whoever made that suggestion. I don't remember your name in the comments, but I appreciate that. <clears throat> also, I'm going to leave a link in the description to my pressure cooker group. It's called Pressure Cooking with Doug. Definitely join that if you have any type of pressure cooker as well as this machine. And also I'll leave a link to my air fryer group with over 48,000 members in there. If you have a, this machine or any type of air fryer, please join that group. Um, you know, get in there, share your recipes or get recipes. But that's all I got, guys. I'm going to sit down and enjoy all these games from 1 o'clock to about 11.30 p.m tonight go giants hit like if you like it remember to subscribe and if anything thanks for just even looking at my video <laughs>